Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you everything that you'll need to know about Zoom. My name is Nayan Roby from Lonbu and let's begin the video. So first things first, we have to register for Zoom. So click the link in the description and that will take you to a website. And when you're on the website, you might first be asked to enter your birth date. So if you're younger than 16, you can't register for Zoom. Unless of course it's your school ID. Next you'll get a few options for creating an account. You can enter your email in the email address box right here. And if you're done, move on to the next step. Even though Zoom asks for a work email, your personal email will do just fine. You can also create an account with Google, Facebook or your Apple ID. After which you just download the Zoom desktop app. If you enter an email, you will receive an activation email to that address. Click the activate account button or just copy and paste the activation URL onto your browser to activate your account. On the next page, fill in your name and a password. And on the next page, you can invite others to Zoom via email. You can skip this step. Next, you'll get a link to your meeting and a start meeting now button to start a test meeting. If you copy that URL into your browser or click the start meeting button, you should be prompted to download the Zoom desktop app. Follow the prompts and install the app. After you've installed the app, you'll see buttons to join a meeting or sign in to start a test meeting. Click sign in. On the next screen, Enter the email and the password you just used to sign up for Zoom in your browser. If you registered using sign in with Google or sign in with Facebook buttons, click those buttons here and follow the prompts. Okay, so now that we've registered, let me show you how you can actually start a meeting. So to start the meeting, open the app and click on the new meeting button over here on the left. A video window will show up and a pop-up window will ask if you want to join the meeting using computer's audio and if you want to test the speaker and microphone. To invite people to the meeting, click the little arrow in the participants button over here and click on invite. When you do, a window will show up where you can invite your Zoom contacts, send an email with information on how to access Zoom meeting, copy your meeting URL or copy along a message with your meeting URL and dial in information. You can also find your meeting's password in this menu. When you're ready, click the invite button. Note that the free version of Zoom will only allow meetings up to 40 minutes. If you want the meeting to be any longer than that, you'll have to purchase the pro version. The pro version also includes features like 1 GB of cloud storage, social media streaming, and much more. And now let me show you how you can actually schedule a meeting for later. So to schedule a meeting, click on schedule over here on the app and a pop-up window will give you some options like topic, time, waiting room, and a recurring meeting option. Fill them according to your preferences and if you click advanced options, you can decide if participants can join before the host gets here or if participants should be muted on entry and whether you want to automatically record the session. Now that we're talking about recording a session, let me actually show you how you can record a meeting. So to record a meeting, you'll need to be in the meeting first and then click on the icon on the bottom here. And when you click on it, you, will start, you can start recording the meeting. And you can post your recording whenever you want just by clicking post button over here. And if you want to stop the recording, click the button right beside it. And that was it. That was everything that you'll need to know about the basics of Zoom. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.